Uh, well, guys, listen, first there is Bhashan and after that we'll do it together. Bhashan is whenever there is list of headings, you just need to take a look at other questions also. Because, you know, for list of headings, like just imagine there is a house. For list of heading, you have to go to every room. Not only every room, every room means every paragraph. So once you enter the room, you have to go to different corners of the room. Corners of the room means the parts of the paragraph, right? So whenever there is list of heading, you must take a look what are the other questions. Let's see. True, false, not given. Okay, we can manage that and that's it. But the siapa is in list of headings, there are two, four, five and eight questions. <laughs> okay, eight questions. And then we've got five questions which are true, false, not given. So you can be ready. And by the way, you can answer true, false, not given because they are in order. So it's a good idea to start with list of headings, right? Okay, now look here. Whenever they give you list of headings, there is a certain way of making headings. I advise you all to read at least 10 to 20 questions of list of headings. For example, in Cambridge IELTS books, you find list of heading, read every heading. And after reading the heading, you must focus. And after reading at least 50, 60 headings, you will realize there is a mechanism of making the heading. The examiners have something in mind when they make the heading. So if you identify that very thing, when you go to the paragraph, you will be able to find that. And if you don't understand what is it that I need to look for because you know sometimes heading matches with one sentence in the paragraph just one sentence and that sentence contains the key idea of the paragraph and the problem is that sentence is not going to be the first sentence all the time sometimes it can be second sentence sometimes it is in the middle sometimes it is at the end okay once I was doing a paragraph all the paragraph was general at the end they had written and that was her real aim of work and the heading was original aim of work last line last four or five words so you just need to see it can be first line it can be somewhere in the middle it can be at the end but the thing is when you read the headings you need to put the headings at the back of your head See, sometimes things are going on at the back of your head. Now you are sitting here. Some of you are thinking, ja ke roti hai. Some of you are thinking, ja ke roti I mean, that's going on at the back of your head. In the same way, when you read the headings, headings must be at the back of your head, like roti and khana and all that. When they are, and you read a paragraph, something will happen, like the movie Kuch Kuch Hota Hai. You are reading a paragraph, something will happen to you. Believe you me, I'm not kidding. Something will happen to you. I read it somewhere. I read about it somewhere, okay? So let me tell you how to do it. Yeah, then fail kinde. <laughs> All right, list of headings, heading number one. Now, before we read the heading, let's read the title. European Transport Systems 1990-2010. So just imagine, yes? Missing my page. You're missing the page. Uh, you may ask Mr. Yasin, he'll give you another one. Uh, okay, so European transport systems. Now just think about Europe. Think about European transport system, uh, trains, buses, metros, underground, trams, right? Even they do have bicycles as well in some cities like Amsterdam. They do have rental, uh, bicycle rental thing and all that. So European transport system, 1990 to 2010, what is the subheading? What have been the trends and what are the prospects for European transport system? Trends and prospects for European transport system. Now, mainly you are going to do list of headings. So I don't advise you to read the first line because you have to read it. Okay, so instead of that, you can come and focus uh, the list of headings. Okay, now I tell you, whenever you read the headings, the first thing is always use Roman number on your answer key. Imagine eight questions are here. And instead of writing I for one, double I for two, you write there one, two, three, four, then you're very confident. Eight questions are out of that. And then you say, I don't know what happened. You say, oh, hi. 
like i was never expecting that band score see these are the small reasons and they cost you a lot okay heading number 1 please everyone and whenever you read the heading do not read article article is a and the some and all that number 1 is fresh and important long term goal now look here fresh means new important means crucial long term goal means 30 years planning 25 years planning so for long term goal you will look for a goal like 30 next 30 years next 25 years next 40 years that is what we call a long term goal so you will look for a number that makes it a long term so this is how you read and interpret the heading heading number 2 now we are not going to read the paragraph you read one heading and then you read all the pass we will never be able to make it we need to read all the headings first uh, and one more thing example is given paragraph f heading number 7 you will not read paragraph f and you will not use heading number 6 it's not that otherwise you've used heading number 7 somewhere also so the first thing is cross heading number 7 cross heading number 7 from the list so that you don't read it okay so heading number 2 charging for roads and improving other transport methods whenever there is a heading with and be very careful sometimes they mention the first thing only and they give a trap heading for that what is a trap heading by the way you might notice uh, the questions are 2 4 5 and 8 maybe 9 questions but the headings are 11 okay so how many headings are extra two headings and these two extra headings are trap headings so be careful and trap heading is usually a heading that you think it can be fit anywhere a heading that can be fit anywhere usually that is a trap heading <coughs> anyways whenever there is a heading with and you must check both things that can be a trap they give one thing and after and they change it so you think that is the answer but actually it's not that uh, charging for roads and improving other transport methods other transport methods like uh, bicycle tram and charging means if you enter the city center you have to pay the amount number 3 uh changes affecting the distance goods may be transported they will talk about some changes affecting the distance goods may be transported like you know how they transport and the word goods is very important okay just how goods are transported and the distance what are the things that affect that heading number 4 taking all the steps necessary to change transport pattern change transport pattern the style of transport taking all the steps necessary they will talk about steps first of all we can do this secondly we can do that so steps to change the transport patterns heading number 5 environmental cost of road transport for environmental cost they can use the word pollution they can use the word fume they can use the word smoke right heading number 6 escalating cost of rail transport a paragraph where they say the train fares are increasing tremendously or anything like that heading number 7 are we going to read that no, no we crossed it actually you didn't cross it huh yes, okay ha pe bhi sare laate hain na pe bhi sare laate hain huh all right heading number 8 rapid growth of private transport now listen whenever they use the word private transport you can never say this bus is my private transport my parivar is so big family is so big no private transport means car okay car car is a private transport so whenever they say private transport you will look for the word car rapid growth where they say the car use has increased tremendously or by 80% or something like that so that's that's where you can use that heading number 9 plans to develop major road networks plans to develop major road networks means constructing new roads and new routes and new motorways and all that heading number 10 restricting road use through charging policies alone restricting road use means you stop people from using the road by charging the money for example if you use motorway right you will have to pay that much amount so people will not go there if you say okay if you go to lahore downtown or for example we've got the area anarkali see that is quite congested say 50 rupees per car to enter that area so people will say okay i'll park my car outside and i'll go there on foot or anything like that so that is restricting road use means people don't use the road through charging policies alone 
Last heading number 11, transport trends in countries awaiting EU admission, underline countries EU admission, EU means European Union. Okay, so whenever they talk about any transport trends and all that, now you've read the headings, although you remember nothing. If I say just tell me what you read, no, you don't remember, but they are at the back of your head. So at least you know you've been through. And if you imagine, visualize these headings, then they will stay longer with you. Now, please come to paragraph A. Let's start the game. Uh, it is difficult. I'm just going to tell you how to look at. Now, you're going to look for a sentence that contains the main idea. And that sentence can be in the beginning, in the middle, at the end, anywhere. Let's see. It is difficult to conceive uh, to uh, conceive of vigorous economic growth without an efficient transport system. This is a general sentence. Let's move on. Although modern information technologies can reduce the demand for physical transport by facilitating tele-networking and tele-servicing, the requirement for transport continues to increase. Number one, underline this sentence. The requirement for transport continues to increase. There are two key factors behind this trend for passenger transport. The determining factor is that the spectacular growth in use, in car use. Spectacular growth needs increase. Now, just go back and see the heading which is appropriate for that. Heading number eight that says rapid growth of private transport. For tri private transport, they use the word car. And if you don't know private transport is car, you'll be looking for the word private transport. Private transport means jidi gaddi asi salam karwali hai. You know salam? You know this word Punjabi word? Say salam, pura riksha salam. Okay, something like that. So for uh, paragraph A, heading number eight. And how will you write eight? V I I I exactly very good okay let's do one more together then I'll give you one paragraph on your own uh, paragraph B is actually as far as goods transport is concerned be alert growth is due to a large number and blah 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 and then you can go on they have talked about uh, uh, this phenomena I'm reading from fourth line please fourth line this phenomenon has been emphasized by the relocation of some industries particularly those which are labor intensive to reduce production costs even though the production site is hundreds or even thousands of kilometers away. That is what we call distance. So goods, transport, distance. Now tell me which heading is going to be appropriate for that. Just, just, just hold on, just hold on. Let everyone find this heading. Goods, distance, right? So... Which heading? Three. Changes affecting the distances goods may be transported. Now, see, things are made in China and they are consumed in United States of America. It's quite far. Made in China, used in Canada. So, this is what it's all about. Okay, let's do another one together. Paragraph C. The strong economic growth expected in countries which are candidates for entry to the European Union. Sometimes list of heading can be as simple as this. Right? Countries which are expecting entry to European Union will also increase transport flow and all that. So, heading number? 11 transport trends for transport flow they say transport trends in countries awaiting european union admission see that sometimes it can be very simple in the first sentence you get the idea okay let's do another one together uh, d now see I'm, I'm telling you i told you you need to look for that very idea that very sentence it can be in the beginning it can be somewhere in the middle and if the headings are kept in mind you, you will be able to at least identify what you are looking for. Paragraph D, however, a new imperative sustainable development, blah, blah, blah. Leave it all. Come to last line. Transport system which will ideally be in place in 30 years time, that is by 2040. 
Why one? Yeah, important long term goal. And for long term, they say 30 years and 2040. Clear? Yeah, all right. Okay, but you got to do it on your own. And I'm telling you, it's not as easy as we are doing it together because you will not focus at that thing. When once you focus like this, then you can always do it. Okay, paragraph E. We've got some numbers there. Uh, okay, let's just do this together. 1998, every consumption in the transport sector was to blame for 28% of emission of carbon dioxide related to pollution. Right? See that? It's so easy. But it's not always going to be like that. Okay? <laughs> yeah. 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 All right. You usually you know some people, some fake IELTS trainers, they have these type of techniques. They arrange a seminar. They give you a technique like that. One technique, free. And for other techniques, come to the class and then we will give you that. And there isn't any secret technique. There used to be a train, uh, okay, I'm on camera, leave it. I'll tell you after that, okay? Yeah. Uh, all right, now, let's see. Are we going to read paragraph F? No. Oh, Yeah, he will be wasting his five minutes, then he say, hi, hi. Yeah? You will not say, hi, hi. You will say, hi, I'm Okay? <laughs> okay? <laughs> so, we are not going to read paragraph F. I mean, by the time you realize you're looking for a heading, you say, So it's not like that. You have to be active and alert. Leave paragraph F, come to paragraph G. They're talking about some approaches. I told you, first approach is this. Second approach is that. You just need to see anything that is related to that. Just read it. The first approach would be consist of focusing on road transport solely through pricing. This option would not be accompanied by contemporary measures. And then they say, all right, just do it on your own and tell me which heading. Through pricing means by charging the money. Yeah, pricing and charging the money. Complementary measures, other mode of transport and by charging the money. So, any idea? Paragraph G. Heading number 10, not 2. 2 we've used already, no? No, no, we didn't use 2. So, it's heading number 10 that is restricting road use through charging policies only. Uh, alone. And for alone, they've used the word solely. Solely and pricing is for charging. Right? Okay, it's that. Now, let's do paragraph H. The second approach also concentrates on road transport pricing, but, but means they will talk about something else. It accompanied by measures to increase the efficiency of other modes. Yeah, now you are right. <laughs> Focus that. Charging of roads and Improving other transport methods. Heading number two. Well done. Very good. All right. Now we've got I. The third approach, which is not new, comprises a series of measures. For series of measures, they might use a plural word in the heading, in the list of heading, ranging from pricing to Revitalizing alternative modes of transport and targeting investment in the trans-European network. Now go back and see which heading is appropriate. Series of measures. 
that means steps measures and steps heading number four taking all the steps necessary to charge transport patrons okay all right so this is how by the way you are going to deal with list of headings and again i tell you just try to read only headings i mean when you start your preparation list of heading is a confusing type of questions when you start your preparation just read headings one set another set another set and focus what are these headings highlighting and then you will start finding that some headings are common like you know there is a very common heading in ielts past and present so for past and present in the paragraph where you find past for example something how it originated and how it is now so that paragraph will take that heading right so once you read a lot of headings you will be able to interpret them and then you know what to look for in the passage and you will find that okay